oil filter at the back, 27mm. Use a short socket and you can just about squeeze an extension in there or you can use a ratchet in the gap that you've got. filter out while we drop the oil but we can just swap it over and replace the oil rings so, new oil ring already on there interviews tend to come with new sump plug washers in the oil filter kits for some reason. You get the o-ring in the correct groove. Make sure it's got a light smearing of oil all over it. And I actually need this uh, washer because I've actually got a new sump plug. So I don't need to put the filter housing top back on yet. We'll uh, refit the filter, so just make sure that the bow ring's got a little bit of oil on it and locate it in position. Should be able to twist it and then whichever way it will actually go down in is correct. We're leaving it off which will allow better flow for the oil to drain. It's not mandatory but a lot of people suggest it. Um, 17mm sump plug. to drain out until it's barely dripping. So I've got a new sump plug and washer. At the very least you do need to re be replacing the sump washer, the sump plug washer. refit and tighten to 30 newton meters. Refit the oil filter housing top. Push it into the new filter. They tighten to 25 newton meters. I was just tightening them until the plastic is touching in this area here. Oil capacity is 
showing five liters. As far as I know, there's no dipstick fitted as standard. I'm not sure if that's a cap, but there is a oil level reading on the iDrive. So add about four and a half liters of oil. It does have a dipstick. Right. It's quite often these are just capped and the dealers will have a a tool or a dip, their own dipstick. Uh, okay, so we'll be able to check the level of the dipstick. So I'm going to add about four and a half litres of oil now. So start and run the car. And if we run it up to temperature, which it isn't yet. Check the engine oil level. We we'll have to wait till the engine is warm to do that. So I'll run it for a few minutes, let it cool down for about 10 minutes, let it sit still, and uh, try using the dipstick, see if that's actually useful. And then possibly warm it up later and check the level on the computer. I've already had this out and wiped it, so get a level straight away. It's about halfway up the marks. This is the max level, and that's the minimum. Now to reset the service interval for the oil. So this isn't the service history, which needs to be written on the iDrive. What we need to do is turn the ignition on. With the bonnet and doors need to be shut. Make sure your date and time is correct. Wait for the message to come off and then hold this button on the left until you've got this menu you can scroll through the menu if it's something else that you want to reset but we're resetting the engine oil so engine oil in the center hold the button again let go hold the button again Reset done. 19,000 miles, what a ridiculous mileage for changing the oil. Crazy. And then to do the iDrive, there aren't many people that have got the equipment that'll do it, but uh, at, uh, at Motec we do have the, Jeff has the uh, Autologic, which is capable of writing the history on the iDrive. Well, you do that through the OBD port. Which is pointless showing you really, because unless you've got the equipment, you won't be able to do it. But otherwise, thanks for watching. This will cover any of the one, two, three, four series, or probably any of the cars with the two liter diesel engine in.